What's up everybody? This is Ingram. I'm one of the Minecrafters and just going to do a quick uh, video today showing you some of the projects that we've been working on. Um, specifically, I wanted to show people where we pimped it out since last time you've probably seen it. And this thing is rocking it out now with four cores that are each producing roughly 1700 buildcraft millijoules per tick each. Um, in there, you can kind of see it. And there is the uh, automatic HV solar array factory, but we won't go into that just yet. But what I did is I hooked that power core up to uh, a little something in the nether. And I want to show you guys why that thing is so powerful and why it's worth the investment. So hopefully I can find it. I got the harbinger here to defend me. Um, I have my jetpack on, which is typically hazardous to the health especially when you're in the nether. Certainly doesn't have the armor that the uh, quantum has. Let's see. So, somewhere in here, oh, if I don't die, I hit a little surprise. And none of the other Minecrafters actually know about this yet. Um, I think it's over here. But, Part of our uh, HV, there it is. Oh, and I'm getting attacked by a ghast. This is bad. You just hide in here. So this is the reason why that remote power core is so awesome. Because this thing is a quarry, buildcraft quarry, and it's automatically being powered in the nether by the thing that's in the overworld. Oh, hang on. Hold tight, folks. We are, we are under attack, and I did not bring the one thing that can kill that thing in one shot. It's going to be a problem, so this thing is going to kill me. Just got to run around, distract it a little bit, best bet, quantum back on, take it down with the Thunderbus. So, oh my goodness, oh, thank goodness for the quantum armor, and there's another one. So anyway, that's the uh, secret project that I was working on. Nobody else knows about it. You guys are actually probably going to find out before the rest of the Minecrafters log in. Oh no. And you are all going to be here to witness the, uh, the downfall of my project. Oh my goodness, I hate ghasts. Well, folks, I will have to come back and uh, oh, man. So that ghast pretty much tore up the power supply, but there you go. Um, if you're going to do this in the future, I would uh, recommend walling it off. This break in the chain here isn't going to make a difference. Um, it just needs to be repowered. So, mining in the nether is dangerous, but it doesn't destroy your world. And the uh, the reason that I did this, actually, the reason, the whole reason I set this up is because the, my goodness, the HV array facility needs um, a ton of redstone. And nether redstone actually compresses or uh, it macerates one nether redstone gives you 24 nether um, one nether redstone gives you 24 redstone so a stack of that can keep the uh, HV facility going for, for a decent amount of time so that's why we have this I went right up to the top layer um, I think it maxes out around 120 something like that so I just went all the way up and dug three corners down about five blocks but the uh, landmarks work through anything and I just put one there one there and one here then you trigger that one and it'll build a giant square you plop your quarry right here and then set up the uh, phased conductive pipe to draw power from the power core that we just looked at uh, and the overworld which is held in place by a dimensional anchor to make sure that it stays loaded the build craft um, quarry is a, is a chunk loader by itself, so it'll keep this thing running even when I'm not in the nether. And I play on SMP, or all the Minecrafters do. So SMP 
keeps the nether loaded all the time. So basically this is a great way to do some mining. So hopefully that gives you a little bit of a sneak preview um, to a couple of the projects. We walked by a couple of projects that we're working on. And also hopefully this helps you see why the uh, remote power core is an awesome investment. One last thing I realized, I came back and uh, repaired the damage from the ghast attack. I realized that I didn't explain exactly what is going on in this rig. Um, this is a void pipe. In the middle there is a diamond pipe. And on the sides here are two ender chests that are linked back to our main base. And anything put in them will get automatically sucked out and sorted into macerators, pulverizers, everything. Um, in this diamond thing, you're gonna if you're going to do this in the nether, you're going to have a ton of nether rack. And so I just have the diamond filter sending all nether rack into a void pipe. And then anything else will get split between these. The reason there's two is because we currently have, um, I think it's five... 64 by 64 quarries that are running at the same time and so um, by having two of these we just make sure that things don't get backed up they're not really necessary it's just you know you don't want stuff to jam when you're running that big so um, now this thing's off right now but I repaired the piping so if we go ahead and we change this we're gonna connect it to our uh, send and receive on frequency 100 we'll make it public that's our remote core frequency and you can see the power is already flowing through and this thing's already warming back to life so there you go gas gas attack repaired and we should be able to see there's all the nether rack funneling right in there a void pipe is like an incinerator so basically I'm incinerating all this stuff so there you go Whew, that was scary alright now I gotta make it out of here guys see you later thanks for watching stay poised